Hello everybody. For Tamil Nadu PG TRB exam, there is an amazing essay that is prescribed. Lionel Trilling's A Sense of the Past. This essay will help you in other exams as well. So I am going to tell you about it. Lionel Trilling was an American critic. He lived from 1905 to 1975. And this is an early essay by Lionel Trilling, published in 1942. It was first published in the periodical Partisan Review. And later, some years later, it was published in Lionel Trilling's famous book, The Liberal Imagination. You must have heard of the liberal imagination that is very famous. In this essay, A Sense of the Past, what is Lionel Trilling's main argument? Let me explain. He is criticizing American culture and the lack of historical sense in American culture. That means in America, critics do not have a historical sense. That is the meaning. Lionel Trilling is supporting historicity of literature. That means Lionel Trilling is arguing that we have to understand literature in terms of history, in terms of a historical perspective. He supports the history of moral sensibility. We should understand history in terms of moral sensibility. We should place literature within history. Now, you all know this is against new criticism. New criticism did not look at history. New criticism looked at the text in isolation. The literary text is looked at in isolation as independent. Isn't it? New criticism flourished at this time when Lionel, Critting, Lionel Trilling wrote A Sense of the Past. In the 1940s and 50s, new criticism flourished in America. But Lionel, Criti sorry, Lionel Trilling is uh, against new criticism to some extent. So far is it clear everybody? Now, who is Lionel Trilling? He is a Jewish middle class intellectual. He, he was from an ordinary family but he rose in the society with his own hard work. He was from New York and he was part of New York intellectuals. One group was there and he supported what is called liberal humanism. Liberal humanism everybody knows was there before literary theory. Lionel Trilling was in support of uh, liberal humanism and uh, that is the understanding of literature in terms of culture and history. I will explain uh, in a while, don't worry. So, Lionel Trilling is talking about history and literature and its connection and is giving a lot of importance to two values, sincerity in literature and authenticity of perspective. Sincerity and authenticity are two things that are very important in modern European culture, modern European criticism. He is saying in American culture it is not there, sincerity and authenticity. He is criticizing American culture because it is lacking in sincerity and authenticity, whereas it is there in European culture. Clear everyone? Now, Lionel Trilling is saying literature is historical in three different ways. Literature is related to history in three different ways. What are they? One, literature is historical because literature narrates personal, national and cosmological events. Things happening in a per man's personal life, things happening in a nation, things happening in the cosmos. Such events are narrated in literature, isn't it? Paradise Lost is about events in the cosmos. Jane Eyre is about uh, events happening in a person's life. War and Peace is about the nation. So in different ways, this is historical. Personal history, national history, cosmological or universal history is there in literature. Secondly, literature is historical because it relates to past works. No literary work exists in isolation by itself. All literature is related to past traditions, past works, 
all literature incorporates literary history all literature modifies literary history did you understand all literature is related to literary history and past works that is the second way in which literature is historical the third way in which literature is historical is along with formal elements of literature every aesthetic analysis should also take into consideration history of a literary text the historical context of a literary text literature is historical because i repeat every aesthetic criticism or appreciation of literary work should take into consideration historical elements so what are the three ways in which literature is historical let me tell you once again it is about events of history isn't it literature is about events of history personal national cosmological then secondly liter uh, literature is about literary history every study of liter third quality is every study of literature should relate to society and history culture er that exists around it clear now this is something against new criticism however lionel trilling is not completely against new criticism both new criticism and trilling believed that literary meaning should not be completely based on socio political reality literary listen very carefully literary meaning should not be completely based on socio political reality if only you look at reality you can understand literature that should not be the case both new critics and lionel trilling believed it that means literature is not completely dependent on reality however lionel trilling asserted that society and politics cannot be fully understood without literary imagination even though this is literature this is society literature should not completely depend on society but to understand society you need to study literature you need literary imagination lionel trilling said you need literally literary imagination in order to understand society did you understand in other words lionel trilling is rejecting literary criticism that is explaining literature through reality you know to understand literature you don't have to look at reality always but lionel trilling believes that literature influences society society influences literature to understand culture you need literature the relationship between the two is there you can't avoid it even though literary meaning is not completely dependent on reality is that clear literary meaning is not completely dependent on reality but the relation between literature and history is very much there now there are two things here one is liberal humanism of europe the second is american liberalism lionel trilling is criticizing american liberalism but at the same time he is supporting liberal humanism i will explain american liberalism means understanding things in terms of abstractions don't look at context or anything look at the idea only the idea is what is important the abstract idea is what is important that is american liberalism american liberalism means understanding only the idea the realm of abstract ideas is what is important did you understand lionel trilling uh, does not believe that abstract ideas alone are enough new critics however believed that text alone is enough ideas alone is enough society is not at all needed so new critics are also part of these problems of american liberalism <laughs> according to lionel trilling new critics are also part of american liberalism where both american liberal critics and new critics are all focusing on abstract ideas lionel trilling does not like that Di lionel trilling can understands that literature and social reality have some connection did you understand so that is why he favored liberal humanism that means what is liberal humanism the humanistic tradition of understanding literature in terms of one's culture 
okay many people thought that is conservative many people thought that is old approach nucleotidism is new approach but lionel trilling says that liberal humanism where you look at culture along with literature is very important now let me tell you some more details when new critics completely rejected historicity of literature Lionel Trilling understood that literature and history are related. However, it, the relationship is ambiguous or ambivalent. That means history, historical sense has both positive and negative effects. Did you understand? They have both positive and negative effects. Sometimes history will confuse us. Sometimes history will restrain us. History will not give us complete freedom. So that is a problem. And what is history? Some things in the past are past. For example, take Shakespeare. We can't think of Shakespeare as a contemporary. Then he, Shakespeare will not have relevance. The relevance of Shakespeare is in his pastness. We have to understand Shakespeare in the past as a past writer. Only then he has relevance. Did you understand? So that aspect is there when you talk about historical sense. Another thing is history should be understood as exact and complex. History is not to be understood as some wishy-washy story that happened in the past. You have to exactly understand history, the causes of a historical event. You have to exactly understand what is the reason behind artistic expression. You have to clearly understand and you have to understand it as complex also. You know, history is complex, we have to understand. History changes, conventions change. Uh, history does not remain static, isn't it? Uh, everything changes from time to time. Ideas change, words change. Some people have a negative look at history. Some people say history is the problem. Everything in the past was wrong. Um, so world war happened, this happened, that happened, all because of history. Let us deconstruct history. We don't want history. Are Lionel Trilling says history is not the problem. Words or ideas will not by themselves influence us unless we want to be influenced by it. You know, we should have a standpoint. We should have a critical understanding of history. Don't let history rule over us. We should engage with history critically. Then history is good. Then history is necessary. Don't become subjected to history. Don't become uh, victims of history. Did you understand? And we don't have to be scared of past mistakes. You know, so many bad things happened in the past. Uh, such, such a view is not correct, according to Lionel Trilling. Karl Marx himself said, there is, history is going to end when finally there is one classless society. You know, because of dialectical his, uh, movement of history, finally one classless society will emerge and with that history will end. That is what Karl Marx suggested. Lionel Trilling says, no, 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 no. That is not how it is. History is not going to end like that. Lionel Trilling uh, appreciates Nietzsche better. He thinks Nietzsche, Friedrich Nietzsche understood history and our connection with history better than anybody else. Nietzsche understood that in the present time, human beings, society, we are all impatient with history. We don't want to study history. We don't want to think of all the mistakes that people did in the past. So many wars, so many hor horrible things. Let us look at the future. We are impatient with history. Friedrich Nietzsche understood that history, even though it has advantages, it has these disadvantages. You know, it makes us suspicious. It makes us confused. Trilling asserts that our estrangement with history, our problem with history is a sign of our desperation. Today in our society we are desperate. We are suffering from the problems of history, isn't it? And this sign of desperation, uh, sorry, this desperation is the re reason why we are estranged from history. Nietzsche did not uh, separate historical sense from his sense of art. Trilling points out that Nietzsche did not separate historical sense from his sense of art. He understood art in terms of history, however confusing it is. Like that, Trilling says, we should understand art and literature in terms of history, taking into consideration the problems of history, the disadvantages of history. Did you understand? Culture or art must be studied as a continuation of life's evaluation. Culture or art must be studied as a part of history. Life is continuously evolving. 
continuously it is changing and evolving that is what is history isn't it so history is continuously changing and evolving uh, culture and art must be understood as part of it this is lionel trilling's a sense of the past very important text because it engaged critically with the ideas of new criticism and modernism okay guys i hope you understood and enjoyed this video if you liked it please like uh, the video subscribe to my channel share with your friends and watch out for more useful videos like this i will be making more to help you pass your exams okay bye bye